This video covers some helps for Excel Chapter 7 Mid-Level 1 exercise, which is the West Coast University Admissions case. And I will cover uh, letter B and also part of step E in this video. Uh, first, letter B, enter a nested logical function in the admit early column to display either yes or no. The university admits a student early if the student meets both the early admission criteria for the SAT and GPA. The student's SAT score must be 2,000 or higher, and the GPA must be 3.80 or higher. And it also reminds us to use the appropriate references in the cells in the admission criteria range rather than just typing in those values. So I'll come over to the admit early column. And I'll start off with an if statement because we want to say if the student has met certain conditions, they will be admitted early. Because we have two conditions they have to meet, one for SAT and one for GPA, we will nest the AND function at this point. The first criteria that the student needs to meet is that their SAT score must be greater than or equal to 2,000. Now that 2000 can be found up here in B7 and I'll use an absolute cell reference. My second logical test says that the GPA for this student needs to be greater than or equal to 3.8, okay, which is in B8. And again, I'll use an absolute cell reference to point to that value. I end my AND function with a right parenthesis. And then I can put in my true value, which is just yes. And I'll put that in quotation marks because it is text. And then my false value would be no. And we can see that Frank Aaron, because he did not meet both the SAT and GPA requirements, he will not be admitted early to this university. All right, now we are on to step E, which asks us to calculate the final decision column. And we can see the question here. It says enter a nested if function inside a main if function in the final decision column. The decision text, so these are our true and false values, should be one of the following. Early admission, early rejection, admit, or reject. So one of those four phrases will appear in our results. And we also have a hint here that says two logical tests are based on the yes, no displayed in the admit early and reject early columns. For regular admission, a student must have a combined admission score that is 2,900 or higher. And that score came from column H. A student is rejected if his or her score is lower than that 2,900 threshold. Use appropriate references to the cell in the miscellaneous standards and filter range. And they're pointing, uh, they're talking about cell B11, where it says 2900 there as a threshold score. So for our final decision, we'll, we will nest the if function. So I'll start uh, with my first if statement that says whether or not the student was admitted early. So we'll just start with the first one. Are they uh, getting early admission? Now, we've already got two columns here that say admit early and reject early. So if it's yes that they've ad been admitted early, then we should return the text early admission. So I'm going to say if cell F17 equals the word yes in quotation marks, if that is true, then we will return the value early admission. Okay, so that's our first if function. Our second if function will deal with early rejection. And again, we have a column here that tells us already whether or not that student is rejected. So if G17 equals, again, the word yes, then we will return the value early rejection. Notice I'm putting quotation marks around all of these phrases here, all of this text. Now we have one more uh, if function to put in here that will say whether or not the score is uh, greater than or equal to that threshold score of 2,900. And then if that's false, they will be rejected. 
So go ahead and uh, put in that last if function and the final false value yourself. Uh, and when you're finished, the final decision for Frank Aaron, our first student here, should be the word admit.